This Roblox account is completely cursed and it has an extremely dark backstory. Basically, the story goes to where this dad gave his daughter a computer and when she got onto it, there was something extremely scary. Basically, the dad bought it from someone whose house had entirely burned down and the only thing that was saved was his computer. Somehow, it managed to have survived the fire and he was able to recover the computer and then the guy sold it away to this dad. And apparently, during the fire, the guy who owned the computer originally, son, actually passed away and it was the son's computer. And and the guy selling the computer basically said that the data from the sun was still on the computer itself and that there would just be some stuff on there that the owner could wipe away. Now I mean this is pretty normal and pretty usual and when the dad originally got the computer to give to his daughter he tried to reset it but it just wasn't able to. He decided it was okay so he just left everything on there and installed a few things he didn't need and in there there was Roblox and a couple other gaming programs that his daughter would enjoy. Basically he was really nice and they actually gifted his daughter this computer for completely free. I think it was for her birthday or Christmas or something something like that. And then later that night that he gifted it to her, he was laying in bed trying to go to sleep when his daughter called his name. Basically, when he went over, the daughter said that the avatar was a girl with purple hair, which was not the girl's original avatar, and so the dad was pretty confused along with the daughter. So he mentioned that she may be on the incorrect account, and so her character was all weird and messed up. Now basically that next morning, before the daughter woke up, the dad went to the computer and he actually went to check what the profile was called and also just what it could be. So he signed into it and it was called something called Kane. Can't squeal 999 which is such a weird username for an account. I mean, like, why would anyone name themselves that? So the dad took this screenshot of the account right here and then logged off it later. Now, later in the day, the daughter went onto the computer and said that she got on and just was instantly sent into a game when going to the Roblox website. Now, the dad was totally sure he logged off it in the morning, so somehow she was back inside this guy's game, which I am going to go investigate in just a second. Once I finish telling you guys this story, we're going to go take a look at that game and see what's inside of it. So the game was actually named Help, and then when it loaded in, all you could see was black and you could just hear these gross, gruesome noises. The daughter tried to leave the game as many times as she could, but just wasn't able to, and his daughter was really scared, but the dad just thought it was a bug or something like that. And then his daughter just screamed really, really loudly, and it scared him so much he just disconnected the computer and shut it off. Now after a few days, she said that she saw something in the game. The daughter saw something very creepy, and so the dad tried to figure out what it is, but every time he'd ask, the daughter would just start crying. So he decided he would email Roblox support to see what they would say and they just had no response, no reply, and he really just thought it was a virus or just something wrong with Roblox itself. He even tried to get in touch with the original owner of the computer and there was just no chance to get in touch with him. But basically the first entry was ended at this time and the dad said he doesn't let his daughter play Roblox anymore and they seem to be fine since. But a little bit later, he made a little response and he said that he couldn't refund the computer because the owner wasn't responding to him and so he just kept it in his garage. Now a few weeks later, he actually came back to give an update where he said that he He'd been hearing weird noises at night like crying and feeling some sort of presence. He said he'd also been experiencing power loss even though the whole neighborhood is lit up except his one house and he thinks it'll be over at some point but he's been having dreams about some sort of figure and it keeps him up at night. He's been shaking off the noises as something else but the sounds were different and they keep getting worse and worse and the laugh is getting deeper and darker. Now that update was posted in July of 2018 and then three months later he decided he would come back where he said after two months I finally had the balls to turn this computer on. It booted up normally except a change that I noticed. I went on the Roblox page and it instantly redirected him to just an empty page and the webcam on the computer lit up entirely. So he just instantly closed it and he was really confused and then it just would not turn back on before he just threw the computer away. Now he thought that would be end of it. He thought that'd be when it gets all cleared up except it'd been a month later and he said, the laughing has gotten worse. My daughter is in foster care. I forgot to tell you guys before but I did some research. After some internet browsing, I found a news article posted months ago about the house fire that happened to the owner I bought the PC from. The son killed in the fire wasn't killed in the fire. The father did that to his own son and sold all of his belongings, one being his PC. Now just 30 minutes later after he put that and explained how he figured out what exactly happened to the actual PC and the son originally, he said he got an email from the seller and then someone was outside of his door. After that, he was not heard of again and he'd never posted an update since. It's been almost six years and nobody said anything on this post. So let's go investigate this game that's under this profile and see exactly what could be in it and maybe we'll sort of figure out like what occurred. I mean this is just this is just insane. Alright so I ended up on joining the game and there's literally nothing. I mean the game is entirely silent and I have no idea what could be in here. Just leave my mouse in the middle of the screen. I mean it's literally just me in the server like I have no clue what this is. Okay so the account is like 5,000 followers and it hasn't been online in two years but that's where 2022? Why 2020? Yo.
All right, that's kind of weird. They literally have like nothing in their inventory, nothing on their avatar or anything like that. Okay, so I don't even know if this is the right account. It's kind of weird. It feels like it's sort of like covered up. I mean, they joined in 2017 and their game is just completely empty. It apparently used to be called Help, but there's really nothing here that we could look at. Okay, so I was doing more research about this guy until I found a different listing and it basically someone who's named this called Until Death. And I don't really understand what this is. And I just wanted to take a look at this story because it is something I don't really have any idea about. So this story was written by this person right here and this is a story I'm going to be reading from their perspective and just sort of understanding what this is and maybe doing some of my own investigation into this myself. Now basically this guy's talking about how this creepy girl kept following him and it started a few months ago where, where he joined a game called Experimental Hug Room. Like I don't okay that's kind of on you bro I don't know why you joined that game. But basically he saw this game in the up and coming category so he figured he'd just give it a try and take a look at it. So he joined the game and everything was completely normal for the most part. There were a lot of people in that game and a lot of people you know hugged him, gave hugs in this game which is just such a weird thing to be on Roblox but anyway basically while he was playing his mother came back from work and yelled at him to throw out the trash and so he decided he would leave the game on and then he'd just go out and throw out the trash and so when he came back eventually after doing his chores there was literally nobody left inside of the game and except for this one girl over across on the map so she walked over to him and just hugged him in this game which again I don't know why Roblox allows hug games like this I mean this is still an issue but basically after that he just tried to like you know let go so he could leave the game and then he just you know wasn't working he couldn't let go and then it thought it was a little bit weird but he didn't think much of it but then she said until death do us part you have my heart and will never be apart and at this point he was getting really creeped out and he tried to get her to like leave and he like yeah, he couldn't do anything he could do to disconnect and he started to get really creeped out and he this is very weird so then she asked to add him as a friend and she said add me as a friend i'll love you until the end so like what end and then it basically just started to boil over and he really just did not want to be participating in this he thought it was just kind of weird and so he said he's sorry he couldn't add strangers and his parents wouldn't let him and then she said liar she she exclaimed and then he quickly just left. She sent him a friend request but he didn't really care much and he just wanted to like calm down so he got into a different game. He ignored the friend request but then randomly she joined his game and he didn't know how she did because he had his privacy settings all the way up there. there's no way she could have joined. He was so creeped out so he literally just left the game and just closed off Roblox just to like you know clear his mind and then suddenly a chat message popped up and he has no idea how it appeared because he literally didn't even have her added and the chat message said I hate liars you know and the message was just that. It was all that and he was getting really annoyed. So he decided, you know what, I'm putting an end to this and he said he would just join her game get in there and tell her to just leave him alone which ended up being a pretty horrible idea because when he got in there it was a really creepy map with a weird looking like ritual sort of thing going on and there was creepy music as well he even heard like a weird woman crying sound effect and as he approached the priest and a girl dressed in a wedding gown they were both looking away from him and so as he like approached and went closer the woman turned around and just started chasing him so he ran away and tried to run as fast as he could until he saw a house in a hayfield when he went up to this house there were pictures of him and her all over the walls and then he saw a table lit up with candles and so as he approached going closer to the table the woman was just sitting there and on top of the table was a body a dead body so he approached the body and he got closer until he realized it was his own avatar he looked at her and everything went pitch black